Now this example that I'm about to go over is a very common question that comes up and students screw it up all the time. So make sure you pay careful attention to this one. So a diver jumps off a diving board and his height after t seconds is modeled by h of t equals 8 plus 2t minus 4.9t squared where h is in meters. How fast does he hit the water? So if you notice this function that we're given is a quadratic with a negative leading coefficient so it's going to be opening down. So this scenario and this quadratic uh, equation looks something like this. So t is the independent variable, h is the dependent variable. The diver jumps off a diving board that's 8 meters uh, high because if we plug in 0 for t we would just be left with 8 so 8 is like the h intercept jumps off the board and they're asking for how fast does he hit the water so how fast does he hit the water at this point so this is an instantaneous rate of change question because they're asking for the speed of how much the height is changing or the speed at which he's hitting the water so at a certain point in time at one point in time so the first step the first thing we have to figure out is when does he hit the water so when is this point occurring when is he going to hit the water and we figure that out by plugging in zero for h into the equation and uh, solving for t because when he's going to hit the water the height above the water is going to be zero so we won't be able to factor this because this 4.9 here won't allow us to factor it smoothly. So we're going to have to use the quadratic equation. So a is equal to negative 4.9, our b value is 2, and our c value is 8. Quadratic equation is here, so negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Plug those in into the quadratic equation, and you end up getting this. So plugging this into your calculator, you would get two different answers, negative 1.0898 and 1.498. But since we have a word problem that we're dealing with, time can't be negative, so we would just ignore that answer. So we know that the diver is hitting the water at 1.498 seconds. And then the second step is we just have to find now the instantaneous rate of change at that time for which he hits the water at, at t is equal to 1.498. So this just becomes an instantaneous rate of change problem now. So a couple of ways to find instantaneous rate of change. We can approximate it with the preceding following interval or the centered interval method, but I'm going to get the exact speed in this question so I'm going to be using the difference quotient and the way I'm going to start that off is I'm going to first find what the instantaneous rate of change is at a general t value a so I'm not going to use our specific t value 1.498 yet I'm going to use a general value a first and then once we have our general expression for the instantaneous rate of change at a t value of a, we can then plug in 1.498 for the a value and then that would give us the instantaneous rate of change at that specific point in time. So the instantaneous rate of change at t is equal to a is equal to this difference quotient of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h where h is going to be a very small number as we discuss in the difference quotient videos. Now one thing I want to point out in this specific question, this f here, technically it should be an h but I didn't want to put h because this h in the difference quotient and this h in this question have nothing to do with each other and I don't want you getting confused. So technically this f should be an h because in this question the dependent, is, the dependent variable is the height but for the difference quotient and just to keep it simple I'm going to keep it labeled, I'm going to keep the function labeled as f. So this here is the next line of the difference quotient. So this big square bracket here represents f of a plus h. And all I did was I plugged in a plus h into the t value for the equation that we're given. So 8 plus 2 bracket a plus h minus 4.9 a plus h squared. 
minus f of a. So this square bracket here represents f of a and all I did was I plugged in a for the t values in the equation that we were given. So simplifying all this, so if you were to take this two, distribute it in the bracket, take this a plus h, foil it, because you'll have a plus h times a plus h, and then distribute that negative 4.9 into whatever you foiled, and then distribute this negative inside, you would end up with this expression here. A lot of stuff would cancel out, like this eight, and then the two a would cancel out, then the negative 4.9 a squared would cancel out, and you'd be left with two h minus 9.8 h minus 4.9 h squared all over h. Then the next step, what you can do is you could factor out an h from the numerator. So you factor out the h, then you'd be left with two minus 9.8 a minus 4.9 h all over h, and now these h's can cancel out, the one in the numerator and the denominator, which is what we were trying to do. So, continuing this result here, I erase everything else before because I was running out of room. So this here represents the numerator after we cancel out the h's in the numerator and the denominator. So we have two minus 9.8a minus 4.9h. And if you remember, the instantaneous rate of change happens when h is approaching zero. So at this point, this would approach zero because as the h approaches zero, this whole expression, 4.9 times zero would approach zero. So we're left with a general expression of two minus 9.8a for the instantaneous rate of change of this diver at a time of a. So if we wanted to find the instantaneous rate of change at any time, we can just plug in that time for the a value and that would give us the speed of the diver at any time while he's in the air. So since we wanna know how fast does he hit the water at at a specific time of 1.498, we plug in 1.498 for the a value in our general expression and we end up getting negative 12.68 meters per second. Now the negative in the uh, answer just represents that he's hitting the water going downwards, right? So if we were to draw like a tangent here, it would have a negative slope. So let's do a recap of what happened here. So we had a diver and he jumped off a board and we have to find out how fast he hits the water. Now sometimes this can also be a question with a soccer ball. So a soccer ball is kicked and we have to find out how fast it hits the ground at, but the same sort of uh, method applies here. So the first step is we have to find out when he hits the water. So you usually do that by uh, the quadratic equation because we have to plug in zero for h. So solving for t, since this is an ugly quadratic equation, and usually you'll be given an ugly one, you'll have to use the quadratic formula. Any negatives you just disregard, so we found out he hits the water at 1.498 seconds. And then what we do is we find the instantaneous rate of change of this equation at t is equal to 1.498. Now there's a couple of ways to do it. You can use the preceding and following interval method or the centered interval method. I would recommend actually trying those methods and seeing if you get the same answer. If you want the exact rate of change, then you have to use the difference quotient. So you would use the difference quotient, find a general expression for when t is equal to a, not a specific time, but a general time. And then all you do is you plug in that um, time that you're specifically looking for in the general expression and you get how fast he hits the water.